Let's start the video first. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Yes. Yep. Read the question, please. Uh, Lana plants are one made of Yeah, so let's just stop here. So we've got a squared section of lawn. So which part of the diagram represents the squared lawn? Raise your hands. Yep, yeah, which color is it? Black. black. Do we all agree? Is the black part representing the lawn? Yeah. What shape is it? Square. Square. Now, what is around that lawn? Keep reading, please. Um, if the lawn has a length of X meters, around yeah, so the situation is we've got a square lawn that's drawn in black. Then we have a flower bed around it, which I have used what color? Blue. Eyes on the board now. So the length of the square is X meters. So will all these black lines be X meters long? Yes. X, X, X. Is that right? Yes. Then the flower bed bed is one meters wide. Okay? Then, what will be the length of this? So this is x, you've got one meter on this side, one meter on that side. So what will be this? x plus how many meters is the length of the outer edge? Two. Two. Do we all agree with that? Yes. Because this is x, you've got one meter on this side, one meter on that side. So that means the outer edge is two meters more than the inner edge? Yes. In brackets and meters. Same with the width. This is x, you've got one meter on this side, one meter on that side. So will this length be x plus 2 as well? Yes. So we have another square now? Yes, the inside is the lawn and the, this part is the flower bed. Agree? Then, find the perimeter of the lawn. What is perimeter? What's perimeter? Outside line, outside line, what? What of the outside line? The length. Excellent. The length of the outer boundary of a shape is called its perimeter. So we are asking for the perimeter of this back, black shape. So can we add all the side lengths? Yes? yes. How many lengths does the black shape have? Four. Four. What are they equal to? X. X. So what's the perimeter? X plus X plus X plus X. Now, this is where the algebra comes in. Are these like terms? Yes. Can we add them? Yes. So X means 1X. So 1X plus 1X plus 1X plus 1X. How many X's do we have? Four. Four. X to the no, we don't multiply. That's the misconception. X to the power of 4 would have been if we were multiplying that. It's like you've got one apple, you've got another apple, you've got another apple, you've got another apple. How many apples do you have? Four, Four apples, not yes. apple squared. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, there's something missing here. It's a perimeter. So it must have? Meters. Meters. Must have units. So the units are? Meters. Every length should have units. Is that clear? Every measurement, in fact. Any questions so far? Say properly, please don't swing on your chair. Thank you. Next one, the area of the lawn. Now, what shape is the lawn? Square. square. Do we know the formula for area of a square? We should. What's the area of a square equal to? X squared. X, what is X? Cos any square? Base times length. Okay, length square? Length times length? Yes. So, what's the length of this square? X. What's the width? X. Now, it's X times X, so it becomes? X squared. Units. Meters squared. Not meters now, it's area. Happy? Yeah. Is there anything difficult about this question? No, it's worded, but it's not difficult. Next one. Perimeter of the outer edge of the flower bed. So this is the outer edge. Again, is the perimeter this plus this plus this plus this? So what is this length equal to? X plus 2. So we are adding x plus 2 four times. I can either write x plus 2 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 2. Or what's the smarter way of writing? Can't I just write four times x plus 2? Yes. Either way it's fine and you'll get the same answer. Do you need to expand it? No. No need. Factorized form is the simplest form anyways. You're not supposed to. If however you do expand it, you won't lose a mark. But you will lose a mark because it's, there's something missing. 
Meters. What's missing? Meters. Meters. Meters or meters squared? It's perimeter. Is it a length meters. or an area? Yeah. Meters squared. Is, is length. perimeter length or area? Length. 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 So the units will be? Meters. Happy with that? Yes. Next one. Area of the flower bed. So what's the area of the flower bed? Is it the big area of the big square? Is that whole big square the flower bed? No. no. So the flower bed is this bit, isn't it? Yes. So how do I find the shaded area? I've got two squares. I've got the bigger square. I've got the little square. How can I find the area of the shaded part? Uh, x times x take away. Oh. Talk in terms of the squares. Area of what? Area of the, the whole square. Yes, area of the bigger square. Exactly. Well done. So, if I find the area of the bigger square, won't that give me this whole area enclosed? Yeah. Yeah. Then if I take away this middle area, that's the area of the smaller square, will it give you my shaded area? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's how we find it. So, area of the flower bed equals area of the bigger square, I'm just writing it in easy language here, minus area of the lawn. Are we happy with that? Now, what's the area of the square? Length times length. So what's the length of the bigger square? X plus 2. So x plus 2 times x plus 2. Is that right? Yes. Well, there's a smarter way to write it. Can I write x plus 2 square? Yes. Yes. So that is area of the bigger square. We all agree. Have to. Minus area of the lawn. What's the area of the lawn? X squared. We can use our CAS and we'll find the answer. Okay? So open up your CAS and do menu as right spread to find this one. In silence, menu as right expand this bit. Yes? What is it doing in your locker? Next time bring it to class. Menu as algebra expand, expand x plus 2 whole square for me please. If you don't have a CAS, you should bring it next time. Have a look at your friend's CAS. Menu algebra expand. Oh, you put the whole thing? Yes, you can. Did you expand the whole thing? Isn't that the perimeter of the 
out to reach? Yes. What is that equal to? Wake up! Four times? X. X plus two. Seriously. What is X? Eight. Eight plus two? Ten. Four times ten? Forty. Wow. What's the area to be mowed? Do you actually mow the flower bed as well? What part of the lawn do you mow? Just the lawn, right? <laughs> Green part. So what's the area of the lawn? X squared. So can we move on the X squared area? What's X? So two things to remember here. X is equal to 8. So whatever expression you need, you substitute X equals 8. So you have to think, okay, what area will I move? Okay, I only move the lawn. I don't talk when the teacher is talking. So find out the area of the lawn. Substitute x equals 8. Another thing to remember is units. If it's length, it's meters. So perimeter is the length. If it's in area, the unit would be square. meters squared or square meters. Is that clear? Yeah. That's it for this question. Have a look. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah. And then